because I study work and workplace issues, I tend to think about teaching really as more of a kind of service work, almost as sales. A firm that uses uh, contingent workers. We have a product, some intellectual content that we're trying to convey to students. Well, you know, that's part of what salespeople do. They're trying to sell or hook people on some kind of content. So we prepare content. So taking the content seriously is very important. We need a good product. We need to spend time and effort thinking about what we select, what we demand of students, and we should be demanding. We have excellent students. <laughs> In terms of how we think about those products, we like to be taught by people that appear to like what they're doing just as we like to buy products from people who appear to believe in the product and like what they're doing. If you're not excited about it, you have no hope of getting them excited about the material. So, got to, what, be an ember to start a fire, this old expression. I think there's some truth to that. To be promoted and to get those kinds of jobs. It's not just content, I think, that we're trying to communicate. We're trying to develop sort of more sophisticated thinkers, people who can reason through issues. And I think any given class, much of the content will recede. We've all had classes. Sometimes we can hardly remember what the classes were about. You can write the ad. <laughs> but if we got a little bit better at articulating a position in a class in a small, supportive group setting, well, maybe we'll be a little bit better at doing that when we are in our job and are at a meeting with a bunch of people from other parts of the company. If we can do this, uh, nudge people along a little bit in every class, I think we've done something of considerable value. So if you make 10 bucks an hour, what do you think they're getting? At the end of a long day or the end of a long week, when we reflect on what we do, I see much of value. I, I find the, the teaching moments to be often encouraging and inspiring. I think to be able to sort of enter the lives of young people like this is really quite, uh, quite a privilege.